what, what are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, welcome to the next um, part in our series called Copying Other People's Artwork. Because why would you... Oh, I'll stop just quickly to say, I think for me, the most uh, visually pleasing part of the entire painting is right there with the orc's face just about painted in uh, over the, the red background underpainting. Um, it's just something I, I like about that. And then the rest of the painting is downhill from there. Uh, yeah, why bother wasting the time and energy needed to generate your own ideas when you could just fucking copy some shit someone else has already made and call it a study. <laughs> That's a thing in art. You do a study, like a, a, a quote-unquote master study, where you, like, copy someone else's work, which, you know, uh, it does have merit to it. It has a lot of merit. That's how I learned to do anything I know how to do. You copy shit to learn how it's done, and then you go, oh, I see, he did this to do that. Or she, or them, or they did this to do that. Now I know, if I do this, I'll do that. And if I, you know, and that's how art works. You copy and copy until you can do shit without copying. They call it a study, and then just do all of your work as studies and just copy everyone else's. It saves a lot of fucking hassle. It's a ball ache coming up with your own ideas. Figuring out, oh, where's this guy going to go in the painting? He's not going to fit in with this other guy. I have to switch him. Well, this other person already made it, so if I just copied it. Orcs! Wow! Green skins. Orc boys. We're painting orc boys. Um, by David Gallagher. Games Workshop artist. This is from a Warhammer franchise game. Um, Gorka Morka. Is the th Shall I talk about the painting instead of everything but the painting? Um, I paint a base coat of... Uh, well, I do the underpainting just to, to give myself a, a dark splotch to paint on top of. It might look like a period stain on a, on a fresh white bed linen. Um, and that's exactly my intention. Uh, I paint then on top of that the, the sort of darkish mid-tone of his green skin just to give me, just to show myself this is where the skin is and then I add the highlights on top of that and on top of that and on top of that um, which as said uh, doesn't take too much brain power because I'm copying-ish. I, I redrew the piece, I drew it for part of my series of drawing a bunch of screenshots um, there's a video of that, I think, probably, on somewhere. Uh, and I drew it in a... Copying the basic, uh, you know, um, composition, composition and such of uh, David Gallagher's original piece. Um, but I drew it in such a way that it was slightly more comfortable for me to draw. So, like, elbows and knees are a little bit more angular. Um, I, I, I fixed the handles on the guns... Because at least on one of them, uh, the front one, you just can't see the handle in the original piece. Um, which just seemed a bit silly. I like a nice long handle on a gun. Reminds me of a cock. You know, you hold on to it and it's nice and fat. The, um, oh, I've painted so much and I haven't mentioned any of it. I painted the teeth in there and the thing. and I mean, you can see what I'm doing and you know I'm just copying. It's just layers, isn't it? Um, with the greys on the shoulder pad and the gun and such, as I've said before, um, for metals I always add a bit more blue in with the grey to make it look a bit more metallic as opposed to like stone or, or something. And then I try to differentiate like different parts of the gun, different parts of the shoulder pad and, you know, his, his knife and such, um, using different values for different parts so it looks like a, a thing comprised of different parts rather than all being one tone of grey that's just lighter or darker here and or there so some bits have more blue some bits have more just straight grey um, and this was painted over several days uh, the, the first orc in the middle I painted for a podcast episode uh, and I just wanted to get him done just so I had something to show um, so normally I'd paint all of the green skin on the piece and then all of like the metal and the clothing and whatever. Um, but I painted the one orc and then 
I think months later I finally got around to finishing the rest of the piece. So now I'm painting in the other orcs in much the same fashion, a base coat of that sort of darkish mid-tone of green and then painting highlights on top of that and then like clothing and stuff. And as you, you may be able to see in the original, um, David Gallagher is very good at differentiating textures from skin, metal, the, le the leather of the clothing he did really well. Um, so I tried my best to emulate that with softer highlights in the, the the clothing, the jackets and belts and stuff, um, and harsher, sort of more rugged and, and splotchy highlights on the metal, and then smooth but high contrast uh, highlighting on the skin, and adding in a bit more of a highlight on the, the, the central orc just to make some bits stand out. Because... If you follow the, the, the way I paint, you just paint a layer and then a layer and then a layer. And you might be happy to just call it done when you figure it's done. But if you add in just another like layer of highlights on top of like the face and the, the, the most outer details, it can add that extra bit of contrast. And um, I think completely by accident, I, I painted the outer orcs in a slightly different green tone. I don't think I added in the same turquoise that I put in the skin of the first one, which I think is good because it does give them a slightly different look. So it's not the exact same green tone across the whole piece. It does differentiate their skins and such. Um, just finishing off bits and pieces, the gun and such. Uh, I like the textures in that because it's quite rugged and raw. So it's nice like blotchy scratched up metal and stuff that's fun to do because that's what it is it's Gorka Morka it's an old uh, games workshop game there's um, orcs crash landed on a planet uh, on a desert planet and they went off into their separate ways of, uh, and they formed different war bands um, some of them following the orc god Gork and some following the orc god Mork hence Gork and Mork, Gorka, Morka, and so they fight, and it's very Mad Maxian deserts and, and like, um, battle rigs and war buggies and fortifications built out of scrap metal and spare parts, and all the guns are, like, cobbled together, like pipe weapons in Fallout 4, that sort of thing. Um, such a, a such a cool aesthetic. I really, really do enjoy it. It's all slapdash, just fucking stitched together, smashed together scrap and crap and a bunch of stuff and orcs are very uh you know they suit that because they're like very simple warlike creatures so sticking them in that kind of environment fits very well um and the artwork uh, done by david gallagher really really suits that this one was the cover of the other book see because there's the rule book and it's spelt the rule book um, but then there's the, the book containing all the other bits, just missions and stuff and like how to paint and how to model things. And that's called The Other Book. And this was the cover of The Other Book. And I liked it, so I drew it. And then I thought, hey, this would make a good painting. And it's, it's the thing, so I did that thing. Um, normally, I put the background in just about last. And you can clearly see the, the painting uh, is not finished, even without the uh, the background. There's a lot of patches left to fill in. I'll fill in your patches, love. Go on, get it. Um, but I did want to sort of clean things up a little bit. And it's sort of adding in the background now sort of focuses everything. It gives clear definition to the outlines of the orcs. Gives a nice background to like sort of make the canvas stand out a bit and, and allow me to see clearer the bits that need to be done as opposed to just looking at a wash of, of random colour and blotches and shit. I'm probably making all of that up. I just thought, oh, maybe I'll do the background now. But also, that said, in terms of practicality, uh, there are a few parts like the muzzle flashes of the guns um, and some bits of fur and stuff on their clothing that if I tried to paint the background in around those, it would just fuck everything up because they'd have outlines uh, and shit, which they shouldn't have um so those i figured would be best to paint over the the background so it seemed sensible to put the background in now um somewhat trying to emulate 
the original background. Uh, not being too precious about it because uh, I don't really give a shit or a fuck or a bunch of piss. So the background's in there. It's whatever. It's orange. I like orange. It's probably my favourite colour. Like, if I had to choose a favourite colour, I think orange pink is a good one. You know, nice bright hot pink. Oh, wow, that's not relevant at all. Uh, I, I'm not even onto the finishing touches yet. I'm still, you know, fur. Fur texture is uh, difficult to get right, but easy to sort of blag your way through. Um, just lots of little short dabs of paint sort of emanating outwards from a central point. Um, gives the illusion of fur. And then, you know, you highlight it up and use less and less short little lines. Um, and it does, it gives like a furry sort of effect to the to the f f fur that you're painting. And the, fur. the skull, I was happy with the skull. Pretty standard, just bone colour. Um, yellow ochre, raw, uh, burnt umber and a little bit of raw umber and then white. Uh, until you get that sort of like tan colour uh, and then just highlight that up with white until it looks skull-like and then that's for the teeth um, the teeth in their mouths and the te teeth and or tooth he's got hanging from his belt um, a lot of details in this which is cool because it really gives the piece life uh, them living in the world they live in they you know clip shit to their belts and have chains and spikes and leather wraps and whatever else all these guns and grenades and shit um blue fur now uh similar to the metal color like blue gray and then get a base tone down and then a few dabs and splotches of, of paint on top of that and then a lighter color and a few uh even fewer splotches of paint and then same again to get that fur texture um, similar, as I was saying about details, similar to fucking Judge Dredd. Like, cool, brilliant character and all, but in terms of painting and drawing him, such a pain in the arsehole. Because it's just so many bits. The chain on his, from his badge to his thing, the badge with his name on it, and then the two different shoulder pads, and one of them's a whole eagle, and you've got to paint the wings and this shit, and his belt's got detail and pouches, and his elbow and knee pads and then his gloves have like pockets and bits on them and his helmet's very very specific with the, just a pain in the anus to fucking draw him again and again throughout like a page for instance let alone an entire book um i was really happy with uh the the metallic look of his belt buckle oh and you can see it switched to this was another day i guess um but yeah, the details in this piece, they really do give the, the piece a lot of life, but uh, they're just fucking annoying to paint. <laughs> because every bit is a new thing you have to mix the colour for, get at least a mid-tone down and a couple of highlights, uh, and then you know do outlines and, and final highlights on top of all of that. I was really happy with um, the stone texture, actually. I was a little bit worried because I was like, I might make it look too flat. Uh, but no, I like i say i was really happy with it it looks like good i'm not going to say it looks like stone texture but it, compared with like the metal the skin the leather um i think this is uh another sort of texture look that i've gotten into there which is, is quite good i'm very happy with it obviously i'm copying from a picture that already exists which i, I may or may not put up during the video at some point or keep up i don't know we'll see what i feel like when i'm fucking editing the bloody thing um this knife was a bit of a pain just because i wasn't no matter how many of these like layers of like metallic blue i put down i just didn't couldn't get to a point where i felt like it looked good or sort of that it was matching the original piece but it's whatever at the end of the day and it's it's there you can see what it is more or less i i think um, I also added in a bit more sort of lighting, kind of like on his uh, or his eyes, the the left and inner orc on their hands where the guns are going off. Um, I've made their the edges of their fingers that are holding the guns sort of not glow but be a bit lighter because they've got the light shining from the muzzle flashes, um, which was not in the original piece, but I felt it needed to be, so I added that in. 
Um, I'm adding in now some orange, like underglow kind of, which is in the original again, but uh, f- it helps fit the characters into the space. It gives them a bit of the background color and really sort of like, I don't know. Yeah, it just makes them fit into the scene that they are in a little bit more. It gives them a bit more of a, a fucking whatever. Oh, you get it. Muzzle flashes. Uh, not too proud of them, but it's whatever. Sorry, I'm picking skin off my lip while I'm talking. It's very unprofessional. Um, yeah, some some yellow ochre with a load of white, and then some more white, and then some more white. Um, and now I'm onto the outlines. I'm I was very really 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 trying not to just outline everything because I think I've ruined a few pieces like that. So I'm trying to only put them in like. You know, this super dark red that I usually use, uh, mostly black with a little bit of red in it. Um, yeah, I'm trying to add outlines just to clarify certain shapes and things, but then mostly use it for shadows, like in the mouths, um, under the noses and eyes and stuff, and just in the, the cracks and crevices of stuff, rather than outlining every object, because I think that can really detract um, from all the painting you've just spent fucking hours and hours doing, so... Uh, that's something I'm working on personally and that's something that's not really in the original piece Um, but it's something I do because I'm not wholly confident in my ability to not use outlines but also I tell people it's because I like lines and I like having outlines a mix of both Um, in fact I do feel like I don't know if it's here or in a bit I fuck up the the main orc's face a little bit and then I'll show you the final piece afterwards and, and you can see I went back and uh, edited it slightly um, just painted over some black lines I put in his his top lip and stuff just because it is just there was just too many uh, harsh black lines where they didn't need to be just details filling in them details Little bits, little things here and there. Uh, getting there now, aren't we? Um, and there's not really too much to say, especially when it's copying another piece, just sort of trying to, well, more or less copy. Take a great deal, like 99% inspired by uh, the original piece with a little, little bit of my own sort of flair here and there. Um, what are we doing now? Little white, white highlights, final little whitey, white, whites on the white lights, highlights, whites. Uh, just the final little edges, little shiny bits on the metal pieces and a, a little bit on the skin here and there. Um, and in the main orc's eye, right in the middle there. Uh, and then that's basically fucking done. Uh, and that's the final piece. Uh I might have put it next to the original, but I don't know if I want to spend too much time holding mine next to the original because then you start to go, oh, well, this bit's wrong and that's a bit wrong. Um, that's a bit wrong. That bit's wrong. Clearly, I've left out a few details, like in the, the foreground on, on the ground and stuff, where I just couldn't be bothered to paint those in. Um, I added in a little bit of spray paint on the muzzle flashes and then just a little bit of black spray paint underneath just for some added texture. Um, I added in the shells afterwards um, and tried to tidy up just a touch. But that's the thing. Copied some more artwork because I can't be bothered to do my own. But you get a nice piece of artwork out of it. And artwork is the point of artwork. And that's why we do the artwork. And it's all about the artwork.